Hello guys and welcome to Aurora 4X. And yes, we are continuing of course. Right, so we just finished research on the minimum cloak size. That's good. Okay. We'll put it into cloak and efficiency, obviously, because that's going to allow us to have large ships or whatever. Uh, which is always good. Hmm. Let's go for mining. Mining would be rather nice. This is going to benefit us in a lot of ways. Um, how far are we away from the new warhead technology? Oh, God damn it! The new warhead technology. Quite some time yet. Eighth for December twenty eighty three. Ah, it's not that far actually, considering it's February now. So it's only about like ten months, something like that. Ten months isn't that long. It's only like. Yeah, that's, that's enough then. If I've not misread that, then we can wait that long. Should be absolutely fine. Probably end up working about 11 months because obviously it'll be on a random day or something. Okay. I reckon we should have Alpha Centauri Habitual by the end of the session. I do not think it's going to take long at all. So I think what we're going to do is try and... Um, if we can get these turns to go by rather quickly so we can get the planet habital by the end. Because I want to show you guys that. So I've been working on it for about six hours. <laughs> um, I mean, we started like three, two sessions ago. So yeah, well, this is the third session that we've been working on Alpha Centauri. Okay. Completed research into the Beta Shield project. Right. Gamma shields. We're going to keep working on this. But shield regeneration as well. Because they go in hand and hand together. Jura's completed orders. What orders do I give to the Jura? I forgot what orders I gave him. Did I tell him to go to Eris? I think I told him to go to Eris, didn't I? Yeah, there's some extra auto mines here. I'm gonna take a wild assumption there's no auto mines left on Earth. Oh no, there's still 39. Oh, wrong thing. There we go. All right, so we're going to tell the mass drivers to fly, uh, start firing some of these stop piles back to Earth. It's not much, but at least it's something. Okay, it's going to take a while to actually get there. Considering we're firing from well outside. Yeah, the jurors over here. Oh, that's interesting. You do still have quite a bit of fuel, so I'm going to keep um, giving you those orders to take the auto mines here. Load. Unload. Repeat. Good. How are we going on fuel on Earth? The fuel situation's looking better. Uh, once we have another basilisk skull, we'll probably aim for a few of these. Okay. Let's keep going. Want to have that world ready. Yeah, we might have to bring it under... I mean, 20% should be fine. I think what we might have to do is add a few more... Well, more gas, more nitrogen or something to... Decrease the amount of atmospheres of oxygen. Which is probably true. Hmm, the transit's running low on fuel. Um, I'll have the Togo come back to Sol. And then what we'll do is with the Estonians, we'll have the Estonia transfer all its fuel to Earth. Which is not much. There's not much fuel in the Estonia. It's rather a... Meh. Uh, well, craft. Uh, I think what we might do is just retire it, to be honest. Probably scrap it. Right, the Macedonia has been completed. Good stuff. Right, where's the transfer? Yeah, you're not going to make that. So I'm going to have you go back to Earth. Well, actually, we'll have you... Yeah, go back to... 
Ooh, you did use a lot of fuel. These things I've been using quite a lot of fuel. We're going to have you go back to Earth then for the time being. And again, you could probably make it. Maybe. We'll have you go to the um, Estonia to refuel from the Estonia. And then we'll have you head back to Alpha Centauri. Right, so we'll go to the Estonia. And then you can refuel from Burr. Completed a construction brigade. Completed the prefabrication of those engines. Uh, we're going to ramp up the refinery production on Earth. I should have done this quite a long time ago, actually. Alright, fuel refinery on Earth. So we have 135, so... Hmm. Another 65, bring it up to about uh, 200. Okay. The Sir Isaac Newton... Oh, the second of its class will be done rather soon. Right. Yeah. So I think at this point, we just need to add some more nitrogen. Take a, yeah, look, it's 79% nitrogen on Earth. Actually, then again. Ha. Huh. Uh, the atmospheric pressure is higher. We're walking a fine line here. We'll have to be quite careful about this and see how it works out. We only need to lower it by a little bit more, by another 0.6. So we'll see. Um, I'll take a look at the lowest amount of oxygen that humans need. So we might have to do a little bit of fiddling around due to the atmospheric pressure. It's about, what was it, 1.6, 1.9? So it's it's higher, it's a higher pressure, an increased pressure of atmosphere compared to Earth. So it's not 100% perfect. If we had the same atmospheric pressure of Earth, the planet would have been done already. Would have been done last month. Hmm. Did I transfer the Macedonia? I don't think I did. Okay, civilian mining colony has been established on Wild. Ah, we've also built that other ship. Fantastic. Uh, so we'll go back into the task groups and we'll go on the Solsec. Make sure we got the. Yeah, the Macedonian here. Good. So that's quite a large little fleet there. I mean, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight light cruisers. So we could actually make two squadrons of four and we could go through at the same time. So that's good for us. We just obviously need to make sure they all have full ammunition. Uh, the Enforcer does not. Uh, the Doxers, I might bring through. I might just keep them on Earth to be something of a guard, I don't know. If they could fire off their missiles at decent range, at least they'd still have some use. Okay, I mean, they do have sight. Is it the sci fi? I think they have size 5 launchers, don't they? They do. Damn. I'd have to design a special missile just to use for them. Oh well. Right, let's keep checking on this. Hmm. Actually, then again. Ah, no, no, we're fine, actually. The atmospheric pressure is different, so it works out differently. So actually we just need to keep decreasing this to the max of 0.300. So we're going fine. The temperature is decreasing though, which is interesting. I think that's the shift in, well, in the shift in atmosphere. That's rather impressive that I've simulated like that. So let's see. Yeah. Just like zero. 0.63 That should be it That will be done very very quickly I mean there is a greenhouse fact from the planet So I'm surprised that um, We are having these co well freezing problems Cooling problems I should say 
I did find out actually how to buy from civilian economy, so I'll have to do that in just a moment. I think what you have to do is you'll have to go to the actual places where it's been mined and buy from there. So if we buy it from the civilian economy, I mean, they do have quite a few small harvesters there, but if each of them is producing a couple thousand litres per year or whatever, they'll add to it. So that's good. That's very good. Ah, transit's completed orders, okay. Okay, I think we're gonna get rid of that and just have it removed. Hmm, we'll see. Okay. Soul. Where are they all? Yeah, sorry, I'm sorry to Saturn. So, no, I forgot to say. Um, hmm. Okay, we'll try this again. <laughs> button now. I don't think it'll work because it's a gas giant. I'm missing it somewhere. It's somewhere here. Definitely. If somebody could tell me how to do that, that'd be great. Because I would like to buy fuel from the civilian economy. Okay. Not much of a stockpile there. Yeah, that's going down rapidly. You can see the use is increasing. Okay, cookie. Right, so let's take a look here then. So we are on... 19.47, so 1947. I need to see if that decreases. I need it to keep decreasing. It to be done. I really want it to be done. Especially as it's going to be good to get people here because I can start producing fuel here as well. And then at least we'll have a second fuel production source. I mean, it has quite a good amount. Okay, low fuel, yeah, we know. We know. Good, it's going down. Okay, keep it going. Just gonna keep it going now, unless we have something significant happen. I want this world to be finished and just livable. The bloody atmospheric pressures make it difficult though. Ah, right, total atmospheric pressure is 1.8571. I wonder what's causing that issue. Is it the size of the planet? I think it's larger than Earth. I'll have to check. I can't remember if it is or not. I think the di uh, diameter is different. I think Earth's something like 22,000. This might be larger. It might be smaller as well, which would explain some issues. I think it might be smaller, actually. Hmm. It's going down rather quickly, though. Let's see. I also need to see what the minimum percentage of um, oxygen we need. Yeah, see, it's just just the atmospheres. It doesn't particularly matter on the percentage, it's just the atmospheres. Right, so it's actually slightly larger than Earth, I believe. We'll see. I might be talking out my arse, to be honest, but we'll see. 
Oh no, it's quite a bit larger than Earth. It's about three times larger than Earth. So you can see here, Earth. Earth doesn't look anywhere near as good now with all those minerals gone. <laughs> Bloody hell, Boronite's and Earth. Sorium's not far off. Bloody hell. That's scary. So we're looking for that between there. We've also got to watch out for the temperature as well, so we might have to start adding some greenhouse gases. And this temperature is going down, and that's not good because it's not much tolerance there. We're down to 1.8 here. That's definitely decreased. Mm, we're almost there. Hmm. need to be very careful. So I think once we uh, get the atmospheric proportions right, maybe add some greenhouse gases to keep the temperature up or at least boost it a little bit. Because like, well, I suppose it should be fine. It's going to end up being a little bit of a colder planet. Which is rather interesting. It's quite... Quite in depth, I didn't realize it would affect temperature as well, which obviously it will do. I mean, atmosphere is absolutely everything. Hmm. Okay. Shield regeneration rate, that's good. Uh, sensors and fire control. Okay. Let's see what power propulsion holds for us. I think I might start working on the new... Um... And again, and again. I feel consumption would be quite prudent, especially now. So we'll get to work on that one. Doesn't look like any of these projects will be finished anytime soon. Okay. I'm not happy about the decrease in temperature. How the hell is the Hamilton and the Transit using fuel? They better not be fucking going anywhere. I don't think they've gone anywhere. I think that's the same amount of fuel that they had before. I bloody hope so. They better not be wasting my fuel. We had quite a good stockpile before that, about like almost 20 million litres, but I suppose when you're building ships with huge... Oh my god, that really does show you how large these things are. Right, we found a new jump point in Alpha Centauri. I completely fucking forgot about that. Right, over here actually. It's not that far away, so um, possibly in the future. We might send the military ships through there, actually. That could be quite a good little exercise for them, and at least we'd be fairly strong to deal with anything that could potentially be there. Right, the Antioch. What are you bringing? Oh, you're bringing construction, aren't you? Uh, you're decent on fuel, so that's not bad. You're on 62% fuel. That's not bad at all. What do we have on Alpha Centauri now? So we have 25 construction factories, 15 refineries, 50 automated... Mines. So we'd have an okay fuel rate. I'm worried that we're not going to get this done. I really want this done. It's going so much slower now. I don't think. I don't know. I don't think removing oxygen is probably the best idea because it's increasing the amount of nitrogen. But then again, it's a larger planet. It's more than twice the size of Earth, so it's harder to fine-tune the percentages. But then again, with it being a much larger planet, I mean, it's a much larger surface area, so I'd imagine that's more atmosphere. There's a higher volume of atmosphere. And that's what we're trying to deal with. Hmm. I guess it'll take as long as it takes. If it could be done in the next 10 minutes, that'd be perfect. Officer updates, ships have been scrapped, new scientists. Nothing particularly of importance, so we'll keep on going. 
I want this done. I want it done now. Yeah, so Akhtar, Interstellar, Interstellar, sorry, Colony Limited, has scrapped a few of its ships due to age. Well, that's what we should probably be doing, to be honest. I think after a few years, probably after a decade or something like that, we'll have to take a look at some of our ships and decide if they're worth keeping. Because a lot of these old um, bloody tractors are using fuel at a un uneconomic rate, really. And uh, we can't really justify that. In the future, we can probably justify it because we'll have a... Well, we've got another 50 million tons of sorium on Alpha Centauri. Mm, which would be okay. Hmm. Completed the fuel. There we go. Lovely. Let's keep going. Keep powering on. I feel like if we reduce the amount of nitrogen, we might be able to balance it out. Hmm. Oh, well, then again, no, I guess not. Because it's... I don't know, I'm not particularly sure how it works. I kinda get it. I mean, we are reducing the amount of pressure due to the fact that we're reducing gases from the atmosphere. taken a lot longer than I thought it would at this stage. But I suppose it's because we're watching it a lot closer now. Bum 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 bum. Okay. Research completed. Good, we've increased our fuel production. Um, mining. Let's put some more labs into mining then. Right, how are we... That's good. That's really increased that rate. So that's good then. At least we'll get a lot more fuel there. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 56,000. So, I don't know how much you use it. Maybe like one, uh, one ton of sorium is 56,000 litres of fuel. Hmm. A lot of these things need to be something, well, somewhat explained somewhere. They probably are. I'm just not entirely sure where. Ah, well. Bada bada bum. I hope you guys forgive me for uh, really just trying to get through this. I just really want to see this world, you know, ready before the end of the session. I want you guys to see it as well. I mean, we are getting there. Slowly but uh, surely. It only needs to come down by a little bit more. It's almost there. Right, I've completed research into the cloak and efficiency. Okay, let's be quick. I'm just gonna put these into these research projects. Just fuck it, pretty random. I'm gonna keep up that mining production. I mean, I did talk about the broadsword fighter project and the FAC. Um, project as well, but <laughs> I've just not got round to it this session. It's amazing, these sessions are two hours and I, I always feel like I don't have enough time. It's, uh, it's always rather amusing, to be honest. Ah, well, we'll get on with it. I do wonder when the new version of Aurora will come out, though. I mean, that's why I've been putting out so many episodes and just trying to get as much done as possible. Watch it now, not bloody come out for like another two months, three months a year or something like that. I've been working my ass off. <laughs> ah, well, no rest of the record. Team on Earth has completed the free stage for the nuclear rocket. Great. Uh, we'll do that next session, then we'll sort out those missile designs. Good. Uh, we'll keep working on this. Okay. I think we might just be able to get it done before the end of the episode. I think it's likely. Yeah, we do need to increase our production rate of mining. Well, mining production rate. It's going to really help us on the new worlds that we colonize. I think we've... I don't know, have we colonized too slowly? Or I just think it's the fact that we haven't really colonized much in the solar system. I set up some uh, mining colonies 
and we have spent quite a lot of resources on obviously the automated miners, but I do prefer the utility of the automated mining facilities as opposed to the ones where we need people there. So, yeah, swings and roundabouts, swings and roundabouts. Lupical primes increase to about 8 million people, so that's doubled in population. That's quite nice. I think it's slowed down due to the fact that we're. Not send ah, there we go! Yes! Yes! The atmosphere of Alpha Centauri 3 has become breathable. Ha ha ha. Right, so how do we do this then? So we don't need anything then. Will people come here? If you build it, they will come. Sends a mixed message there, doesn't it? Okay. Can we stop? Terraform inactive. Okay. Will people come here now? They bloody well ought to. It's perfect. Everything's here and ready for them. Great. I mean, this is it. This is what we need to do then. Just like, ah, oh, yes. Come on, people have got to come here. They've got to. Um, we should see this change. But that's very important. The fact that the atmosphere is now breathable is so important. You can see that we're no longer needing 200 infrastructure. We don't need any infrastructure, technically. Of course, infrastructure being something like, I don't know. Um, imagine, like, uh, colonies are, like, sealed from the outside and they have their own atmospheric production. Yeah. I think what we might do in the future is probably decrease the amount of oxygen just a little bit more. Uh, well, we'll see. I, I, I just want to have something of a buffer. I might aim for the amount of atmospheric, well, oxygen atmospheres on Earth, try and match on Alpha Centauri, and then at least we have something of a buffer, because my greatest fear is that I accidentally... Okay, wait. Whoa. Scrap, 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 okay. The basilisk has been built. Are people on their way? I want them to come. Come! Lubicon Prime. Ah! 10 million people. I want them to stop coming here and go to the new world. Ah. Uh... It's designated as well. I suppose we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Bloody hell. But the world is breathable now. Do we still have the Basilisk group now? Okay. Hmm. That's the issue. We need 25 million people on Lubrical Prime before it stops. I, it's kind of annoying that you can't just say, look, don't go there. God, I really wish they'd stop going there, though. <laughs> because I really want them to come to Alpha Centauri. It's perfect. It's got things established already. It's got refineries. It's got some construction industry. There's some troops here already to make you feel welcome. Uh, welcome. <sighs> Fuel, mining, it's here. Come here, you fucking idiots. I reckon they'll probably start coming in time. I might need to subsidize them, so I think I'll subsidize them when the month's over, so they start building more ships to come here. But I, I'm sure they should come. They should. Okay. Hamilton, yeah, 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 yeah. We're all used to that crap. Okay. Inactive labs. Fuck it. Um, Sam Savage. What a name. Yeah, they're low in wealth. Okay, so let's subsidize them. There we go. That's a good share price. Lubical Prime. So good a fucking Lubical Prime! Ah! Aha! Aha ha 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 ha! Yes, people are on their way! Yes! Yes! Come! If you build it, they will come! I'm so excited. I want people here! Ah! Fuck it, we don't have enough time to name it. I was hoping that we could get people here before the end of the episode. But it's breathable. It's breathable, people. It's Earth-like. It's perfect. It's fucking perfect. Look at it. <laughs> Look at the bitch. 
It's amazing that the temperature did drop. Like, what was it when we started? It was something like, it was like 1.6. It was like 3 degrees or 2 degrees or 4 degrees, something in that range. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this, and don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, goodbye for now.